Hello and welcome to Phone Lab eCampus. I'm your instructor, MJ, and this is your AT&T LG V10 H900 flashing guide. Let's get involved here. Okay, so the reason that we decided to do a uh, video guide for the V10 from AT&T is there simply doesn't exist a lot of information. A lot of information doesn't exist uh, for flashing this phone, and we ran into a problem. And it's a problem that uh, you could run into. And let me tell you what that problem is. So the V10, when you do a FRP removal via one of the boxes or one of the dongles, tends to get stuck in a boot loop. Now, we tried to solve this problem by uh, doing a, a hard reset, and it just wasn't happening. Now, we could uh, we could obviously hold the phone into download mode and into recovery mode, which uh, eliminates the uh, suspicion of a power button failure like they had with the G4. So this is important if you're a tech out there and you're trying to troubleshoot, especially when you're trying to do one of these phones where the KDZ method is generally what we did. Well, for this phone, as an AT&T fashion, firmware files are hard to come by. So uh, we found one over at this, uh, the uh, SourceCal website, and we'll go ahead and link it uh, in the guide here, but uh, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started here. Let's get involved. Okay, so you do need uh, three files for this. You need the LG mobile drivers. You need the LG or LGUP tool. This is a new flashing tool, and I'll tell you, it's a lot easier than any of the previous tools like Flash Tool where you'd have trouble connecting. And then, of course, we need our uh, firmware. Now, this is a TOT file or a TOT file. So uh, before we get in, uh, started here, you do need to make sure you stay organized, as we always do in, uh, here at uh, Phone Lab eCampus, all caps. Uh, so we want to make a, uh, a folder called LGUP, tool, all caps, so that you have it. Place it in your LG folder. And then we're going to make another folder which is going to be called H900 TOT. Now, that's going to go inside another folder if you just want to stay organized, which is going to be AT&T LG V10. And you can even put the model number, which is the H900. And I believe the 901 is the uh, T-Mobile variant. Now, what you need to do is um, go ahead and uh, put everything together like you're supposed to. And uh, being organized is 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 a big deal uh, because you're gonna you're gonna accumulate a lot of files. So uh, once you get the files where they're supposed to be, go ahead and open up with a WinRAR or 7-zip and extract here. And it's just gonna take a couple of minutes there. This is a fairly large file. Just to let you know, uh, you're looking at uh, probably about uh, four gigabytes of. Uh, of data here so it's a lot of stuff and uh, then after we get done with this one we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna uh, install uh, LGUP onto your workshop workshop PC we'll get the drivers installed uh, uh, right before we do this and if you're not familiar with how to put LG Android smartphones into download mode it's very simple you need to uh, use obviously the stock cable. It needs to be plugged in to a direct port in your workshop PC. And what I like to do is just remove the battery, put it back in, and then you're gonna hold volume up. Now when you hold volume up, you're gonna plug that cable into the phone. And when you do, you'll see a quick LG screen and then the phone's gonna immediately switch into download mode. If you're still curious about that, you can head over to our guide here on eCampus, which will show you how to do that so you can uh, get your devices into download mode. If you're struggling doing it, uh, that usually has to do with the fact that uh, you haven't removed the battery. Some, some of these phones are a bit picky. The way around that is to remove the battery, and then you can go ahead and get into uh, download mode. And again, volume up. While you're holding volume up, plug the cable in while it's plugged into your workshop PC, and you'll see download mode so we're almost done here fairly large file and when we get done here we're gonna get into the uh, tool installation this is the icon up here I'm just gonna show you the order of which you need to install 
and then after that you're going to install the uh, mobile drivers. Now you shouldn't have any trouble seeing the device in your PC. If you do when you start flashing simply unplug and uh, replug the uh, cable back into the phone and it should start flashing. Now if you've downloaded and installed all of your drivers for all smartphones for your workshop PC in the beginning of uh, taking courses here on eCampus you should have no trouble whatsoever seeing any of the phones that we flash up here. If you do leave us a comment below and we'll uh, be glad to help you out. When I started out, we had, I don't know, it was like 200 megabytes max. That was a big file. And we're now uh, at 4 gigabytes. It's incredible. We like to bring you exclusive video guides here at Phone Lab. If there's something that you want to learn, uh, you can go ahead and submit a request. We will uh, create a work ticket for you. Sometimes it does take us a week or more to get uh, your video guide up. We have to get that phone and then we have to uh, troubleshoot it and then uh, put together your guide. So we do appreciate your patience as we get those up. We have more live. We have more instructors coming to eCampus as well. So we're gonna have a lot more video guides up for you guys and gals in the coming months. We appreciate your continued membership here at uh, phonelab.teachable.com. Okay, we're right there at 98, 99, and we're going to finish this zip up, uh, unzip up. There we go. Okay, so it's a, it's basically an, an RL editor file. And uh, now that that's done, we can go ahead and close that out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this RAR file over here, we're going to put it into the GUP uh, folder, and we're going to extract it here much faster than the uh, 4 gigabytes. Now, it's going to leave you with these three files, and I'm going to show you the order in which you need to install them. The very first file that you need to, or executable file, installer file you need to run is this one right here, the DLL. You're going to install this, and after you install that, you're going to install this one, the second one. That second one is going to give you the icon. Now, once that is done, we need you to do one more thing. Go ahead and right click, copy, and then you're going to go over to this PC. You're going to double click the C drive, and you're going to go into your 86 folder and you're going to look for LG Electronics. You're going to double click that and you're going to see this right here, this LG LGUP again. Double click that. Okay? And inside the model folder, we want you to paste that in there. It's already in there. So you're going to paste that in there. Once that's in there, you're good to go. So we'd put that over to the side. The last thing we need to do is right click and run as administrator and install these LG mobile drivers. Okay, now that that's done, we're ready to do the installation. So, this is going to fix soft brick phones, this is or soft brick V10s, boot loops, uh, and again, if you if you got stuck on the FRP flash, it did. So, what I'm doing right now is I am holding the uh, volume down, or excuse me, volume up and it's plugged in the workshop PC and I'm plugging in and when I do that I'm gonna see it go into download mode almost within a like a half of a second it's really fast once you're done with that what you need to do is you need to double click this here now if you do not have the phone plugged in it will not open up so you need to make sure 
that the phone is plugged into download mode before you double click this LG tool here. Now it's going to auto detect your phone. If it doesn't, what you need to do is you need to go into drivers and make sure that it sees the phone. And so let me let me go ahead and do that for you right now, just just so you understand uh, if you're running into that problem right now, what you're going to do is right click device manager. Okay, and once you right click device manager, you should see the USB modem here. Okay, if you don't, you need to reinstall drivers. And it's very simple. You're just going to reinstall these. You can also right click and you can update and you can either search. But what we like to do is we like to pick from a list. So if you have that yellow question mark and it still says LG, this one right here, the Android Net USB modem, is the one that you want to choose. Once you do that, it will install and it should see your device. You might have to close out LGUP and run it one more time, but make sure that the device is into download mode when you do. Okay, now that it sees the device, this box right here needs to be checked. Okay, it's been. And what we need to do is we need to add that file and we need to add it in the file path. So what you do is you just click right here and it's gonna highlight it and you're gonna go over here and you're gonna click this three dots. And we need to navigate to that folder where we unzipped that file, okay? So now that we're here, we're gonna go over here to AT&T and we're gonna find that TOT file and we're gonna put it in there. Once it's in there, you can click start. Now, you should see 4% right away and it should say USB connection established. Now the time that this takes is going to take about anywhere from five to seven minutes. So it's gonna go pretty flat, pretty fast, similar to like flashing Odin files. What you have to remember is that Android is Android and the tools are different, but the files are same. They're, ju they're just repacked in different formats. So you have tar files for Samsung. You have TOT or KDZ files for LG. And if you unzip or unpack those files, they still have the same system images, the same boot images, and so on and so forth. And uh, so it is the same. It's just that the methods of flashing them are slightly different. So we're at 22% now. Now let's talk about troubleshooting after the flash while we're going through the flash here. So if for any reason you complete this flash and the device is boot looping, we do recommend that you hard reset it. It should correct any uh, boot loop that you have after you've completed a successful flash. Okay. If you if you're if you're having trouble um, still after that it could be hardware I'm not saying that it is but it could be hardware and really the only way to diagnose that would be to stay in a downloaded state stay into a recovery state and see if uh, it does boot loop in there if it does it's definitely hardware and again as stated in big letters here in the guide you cannot downgrade this uh, firmware is AT&T, which means it has locked bootloaders like every phone that's with AT&T or most phones with AT&T. So you cannot downgrade if you try to do that. You'll, go, uh, you'll be in a soft brick state. So as of the date of this video, which is the 19th, uh, this is the only file that is available. And that's going to be the V20J file. I haven't seen anything... Um, in marshmallow yet so we're just about halfway through the flash here and we're gonna go ahead and let this completely flash through so you can see what a correct flash looks like at the end and we will be linking to this uh, 
to the website that contains the files. If you do ever have any trouble obtaining any files, you can contact us here on eCampus and we'll get you those files. Another good uh, practice when you're uh, doing these types of installations, no matter what phone it is, is to make sure you keep the mouse moving. You don't want your uh, PC going to sleep when you're doing a flash. So I always like to keep things going. Now, if you look down at your uh, LG device, or your V10, it's going to say firmware update. You're going to see the arrows turning in a circle. It's going to have a COM number there. You will also see the percentage of the flash on the phone as well uh, to what you're seeing on the screen here. And we're about three quarters of the way done. And don't forget, if you want to enjoy some great free video guides, you can join our uh, instructor, Root Junkie, Tom Sargent. He is on YouTube. You can go over to Root Junkie's channel, and we uh, appreciate you subscribing to him. He's got some uh, great videos over there. Now, I'm looking down at the phone right now at 80%, 81%. The phone is booting, and it went into sort of a L, uh, an LG screen, and then you're going to see the little Android turning and this percentage right here 82 percent it's verifying a correct flash so it's verifying that it's gonna boot up and there you go you can hear the uh, infamous AT&T boot up sound and it's gonna go 83 84. Now on the old KDZ method with flash tool, it was normal for the flash to stop at 85%, 90%, and then you could unplug because it was done. Uh, what this program is doing, it's just verifying that uh, everything is flashed correctly. So uh, it's going to go ahead and finish up here once it's booted up. Again, the boot process does take a little bit. There we go, we're on our second one. Eighty-eight. It's important not to unplug during this time. A lot of people think because it rebooted a couple of times, two or three times, that uh, this is a problem and it's not. Just keep the phone plugged in and then it will go ahead and finish. Now it's going through the Android is starting screen. Typically from what you see, you know, the apps are upgrading. And uh, LGUP is going ahead and it's verifying that it's in the correct stages. And then we'll be done here in just a minute. And there we go. We have a fully flashed working and booted up AT&T LG V10 H900. If you have any questions, you can leave your comments below or send us an email. PhoneLabTech at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.